Good evening, guys, and welcome back to English Cafe. Here, this is Mamta again with today's live class here on Facebook. And today we're going to learn some new words. It's a vocabulary lesson. And in this vocabulary lesson, we're going to learn 30 words, phrases, and expressions to talk about crime, okay? So the topic that we have today is crime, and we're going to discuss vocabulary to talk about crime. These are, these are advanced English words, phrases, and expressions that we're going to discuss to talk about crime. So please join me for this session, and let's learn some words to talk crime. And as crime is something that keeps happening around us, a lot of time we hear about different kinds of crime every day, no matter which part of world we are in. Most, most of the places, most of the cities in the countries have crime in them. And because there's crime around us, we talk about crime. So today we'll learn vocabulary to talk about crime in English. So please join me for this lesson and we'll get started. Oh, all right, a lot of you have already joined. Good evening and welcome to the session, guys. Thank you so much for joining. I hope I'm audible to you. Can you guys hear me? Please let me know if I'm audible. I hope you can see my screen. I've shared my screen with you. I hope my audio and my video are good. Do let me know in the comments, guys. All right, so many of you are there, just said hi. Good evening, Ravi, Venkateshwari, Radhika, and the first person who commented, hi, good evening. I'm sorry, I can't read your name. Suchita, Seema, good evening. Okay, great. Gulam Abbas, good evening. Thank you for joining. Okay, great. So good to know that I'm audible. And if you've just joined, let me tell you that the topic today for today's lesson is crime and we are learning vocabulary. We are learning words and phrases to talk about different types of crime. That's what we are talking about today. Words and expressions to talk about different types, different kinds of crime. And I don't need to explain what the word crime is. You know the word crime, right? Sweetie, hi, good evening. Thank you for joining. Hi, Anil, thank you for joining the session. So that's the topic today. The topic is crime and that's what we're going to talk. And if this is the first time you've joined this live session, let me tell you that at English Cafe, we conduct free live English sessions at 4 p.m. Indian Standard Time here on Facebook every day. So if learning English is something you're looking for, Please join us for this live session every day at four, except on Fridays. So the live sessions are available every day at 4 p.m. Indian Standard Time. Please join us every day if, if you want to learn something for free. And here you get to learn vocabulary and grammar and pronunciation and a lot of other aspects about English language. And for somebody who doesn't know what we do, uh, at English Cafe, we offer online courses to help you improve your spoken English, your fluency in English and your communication skills. So if that is something you're looking for, if you need to uh, get fluent at English, maybe for your job, for your studies or for any other purpose, you can get in touch with us and we can help you through an online course that we offer. We offer, we offer you classes in groups as well as one-on-one -on -one with a trainer. So if you can get in touch with us and learn more about that. Now, let's get started with today's topic, which is crime, and we're going to discuss 30 words and phrases. So first, I'll discuss all these words with you, and while we are discussing these words, let me ask you to keep a pen and a paper handy. Please keep a pen and a paper handy, because you're going to learn many new words, and it will be great if you take notes and write down these words, their meanings, and then revise later. And while we discuss these words and their meanings, I'll give you one example and I'll encourage you to write down more sentences because ultimately we speak through sentences. So you should be able to use the word in a sentence. So um, do comment the sentences 
for each new word that you learn. And at the end, we will, I will test your understanding. I'll see how many words you learned and how many of them you retained. So keep participating, guys. Let's get started with the session now. The topic is crime. And the first word, and I'm sure you know this, but let's discuss. It is abduction. Pay attention to the pronunciation also. It is abduction. Abduction. The sentence here is, there's been a series of abductions of young children from school in the area. So the word abduction means kidnapping, right? Kidnapping is abduction. That is taking someone away by force and then demanding money for their safe return. That is what abduction is. Kidnapping is the other word for abduction. Now, I would like you to give me a sentence, at least one sentence using the word abduction in it. Is abduction a crime in your country or in our country? Tell me no guys about abduction. The verb is abduct. So abduct and for past we'll say abducted. So abduct, abducted, abducted will be the verb forms. For example, a young boy was abducted. So abduct, you can use as a verb and abduction is a noun. So abduction means kidnapping. Please let me know how you will use the word abduction in a sentence while you're talking about crime in the comments below. Do let me know how you will use it. And I hope you're participating. So the first word we discussed is abduction. Abduction means kidnapping. Let's move on to the next word and it is arson. Okay, the pronunciation for the word is arson. And let's take a look at an example. A cinema was burned out in North Delhi last night. Police suspect arson. Okay, so the word arson means setting fire to a building, cars, or property on purpose. That is what an arson is. So many a time during protests, uh, people get violent and they set things on fire, like they set cars on fire, public buildings on fire, private buildings on fire. That is arson. I hope you got that. So arson is setting a public property or uh, an automobile, uh, setting these things on fire on purpose, on purpose. Deliberately doing it is arson. Did you learn the word? It is arson. Okay, uh, do you remember any incidents of arson in your country in India? Do you remember if there have been any cases of arsons during maybe riots or during protests, any violent protests that resulted in arson? You can let me know in the comment section. I'm sure you remember such incidents where there have been arsons, where the riot turned, uh, where the protests turned violent or there were riots and then that resulted in arson. Let me know. So arson is setting something on fire on purpose. The other word that you need to learn is this. It is assassination. Okay. So assassination, that's the pronunciation, assassination. And the example here is the prime minister was assassinated by extremists. So as you can make out from this sentence, the word assassination means killing a famous person or public figure, okay? Assassination is the noun and the verb is assassinate. Like Mahatma Gandhi was assassinated in 1948. You guys know Mahatma Gandhi, right? Everybody knows him. So Mahatma Gandhi was assassinated in 1948. So that's the word assassination. Assassination means killing a famous person. Like Mrs. Indira Gandhi, the former prime minister of India was assassinated by her two bodyguards in 1984. Do you remember that? So assassination is the word and the verb is assassinate. You can use it. Do let me know how you will use it in a sentence. I just gave you a couple of sentences. I would like you to think and use this word in a sentence. And if you're here, if you've joined this session, please participate, guys. 
This session is not for you to just watch. It's not a theory class. It's a session for you to participate, think in English, use your skills in English and participate. Let me see if I, if you guys are participating. Okay, great. Um, okay, great. Yes, I can see your examples, guys. Good job. A child was abducted. Musa, good evening. Thank you for joining the session. Abduction is very bad thing for society, definitely. Great sentence on you. Um, they fake the soldier from the border, then they demand abduction. We can't demand abduction, Venkateshwari. We can demand ransom. Like you abduct somebody, somebody abducts somebody, and then demands ransom. That word is ransom. When you ask for money for their return, that's ransom. I hope you got that. So the third word is assassination. Assassination means killing a famous person or a public figure. Let's move on to learning another word. It is assault. And the example is, he was assaulted with eggs and stones. So as you can see from the example, the word assault means attacking someone physically. So assault is attack that person. So like we say, he was assaulted with eggs and stones or a youth was assaulted by his friends after an argument so assault means attack did you get that a physical attack a violent attack on somebody is an assault so that's the word i hope you're making notes at the end i'll ask you what your understanding of these words is and this is assault do let me know how you're going to use the word assault in a sentence. Have you ever been assaulted by someone? Okay, that's a sentence, right? Have you ever been assaulted by someone? Have you ever been physically assaulted? So that's how you can use it in a sentence. Let me know how you're going to use the word assault in a sentence. Assault means attack. A physical attack is assault. Okay, like she, they, she, he assaulted me in public or the husband assaulted the wife in public. So assault is a physical attack, maybe slap or hit, right? That is assault. I hope you got that. Let's move on to the next word. And here it is. It is break into. Break into, for example, we say a thief can break into a car in under 10 seconds. So break into a place Break into something means to enter that place forcibly, okay? Like if you're a burglar, you break into buildings and steal things, right? You're a burglar, a thief, you're a thief, you break into buildings. Break into means you enter forcibly, maybe by, uh, maybe by uh, using some keys, like some master keys or maybe breaking a window, or like doing something and enter forcibly. That's what it means by break into. Another example can be last night. Uh, no, last night, yeah, last night, uh, a couple of armed gunmen broke into the bank. So broke into the bank and robbed all the money. So break into means to enter forcibly. You are not invited there, but you enter forcibly, maybe by threatening people or breaking the windows, etc. So that is what it means by break into. Break into a place, break into a building, etc. That's how we use it. So thieves broke into the house or robbers broke into the bank. This is how these expressions are commonly used. Let's move on to the next one, and it is burglary. The word is burglary for example an year an 11 year old boy committed a burglary so whatever crime we commit a crime like commit a burglary commit a theft or commit an arson so we commit different types of crime we usually use the word commit with them so an 11 year old boy committed a burglary is the sentence so burglary means breaking into a house in order to steal something. That is what burglary is. Burglary is um, 
a small time crime when you break into the house when people are not there in the house or maybe people are sleeping and you break into the place you steal something and you run away that's burglary so usually burglars do it in a way that the other people don't see them right they don't get noticed so that's what burglary is the so burglary as we said is breaking into a house in order to steal something that is what burglary is so you got the word burglary robbery and burglary are two different terms let me explain that to you robbery means when you enter forcibly and you commit a theft when all the people are around like you maybe you threaten them and you rob something that's robbery robbery is done when many people are watching but you're still doing it but burglary is done when nobody is watching you know you just steal something uh, by breaking into it and secretly doing it that is burglary so you got it the other word that we're going to learn today is trespassing okay trespassing for example can't you read the sign it says trespassers will be prosecuted prosecuted means we will take a legal action against them so trespassing is the crime in which you enter other person's property without permission okay so trespassing means entering another person's property without permission that is what trespassing is you got it so trespassing is a crime right if you're not allowed to enter some property you're still doing it that's trespassing many people have these sign boards for example this sign board which says trespassers will be prosecuted that means don't enter this property it's prohibited so that's what trespassing is and somebody who does trespassing is a trespasser the trespasser you know can be prosecuted because people don't want you to enter their property so that's trespassing let's move on to the next one and it is vandalism i should have discussed this word along with arson but yeah let's discuss it here vandalism for example a drunken teenager was arrested for vandalism so vandalism is the act of destroying a private or a public property purposely we learned the word arson arson is setting a private or a public property on fire purposely if you're setting something on fire purposely that is arson but if you're destroying it purposely it is vandalism again people commit vandalism maybe in a fit of rage when they are angry or when they are protesting something or when there are riots going on that's when people commit vandalism i hope you got that so vandalism is the act of destroying private or public property purposely that's what vandalism is vandalism is a crime like arson right so but we get to hear about vandalism a lot whenever there are uh, riots or protests etc so the word is vandalism okay let's move on to some more serious kinds of crimes and now we're talking about murder so the this expression is premeditated murder for example the murder was premeditated and particularly brutal so if a murder is premed is a premeditated murder that means it was intentional it was planned by somebody so a premeditated murder is a murder that is intentional for example in the current uh, Sushant Singh Rajput case uh police said that it was a suicide but many people think that it was a premeditated murder so premeditated murder means murder that is intentional did you get it so that's what it means by pre a premeditated murder a murder that is intentional what do you think about the death of Sushant Singh Rajput do you think it was a suicide or do you think it was a premeditated murder let me know let's move on to the next word related to killing and it is manslaughter manslaughter is the word and the example is the driver was arrested on a charge of manslaughter again 
Manslaughter involves killing of a person, but it is unintentional. Unintentional. If it is intentional, then it is premeditated. Like if, if somebody thought about it and then killed somebody, it's a premeditated murder. But if somebody killed, like if someone killed another person unintentionally, it is manslaughter. Like in this case, the driver was arrested on a charge of manslaughter. That means the driver did kill someone, but not intentionally. Maybe the driver couldn't control the vehicle or uh, was not driving well, and that's how somebody was killed. Maybe they ran over somebody accidentally. So that's what manslaughter is. Got it? And unintentional murder is manslaughter. So premeditated murder is intentional murder, but a manslaughter is an unintentional murder. Moving on to the next word, it is genocide. Again, it's a very serious kind of crime. So genocide, it is not genocide, it is genocide. Genocide is how we pronounce it. The example here is, they've launched a campaign of genocide against the immigrants. So a campaign of genocide against particular group of people. So genocide is systematic killing of a race or a religious group. Throughout the human history, we have uh, uh, we've heard about genocides in, in different periods, like Hitler, if you've studied history and we know about the German ruler, Hitler and how he committed genocide. So genocide is mass killing, basically mass and systematic killing of a particular rel religious group or a particular race. That's what genocide is. Usually genocides are committed by dictators, right? Because only they can order for you know, mass to be killed. So that's the word genocide. I'm not sure if the genocides are still uh, common in the 21st century, but you can let me know if you've heard about any genocides in the recent past. I don't know of any though, uh, and because I don't keep myself that updated with what's going on in the world, I don't know, but, uh, but genocide has been a very common, not very common, but has been there throughout human history when a ruler or a dictator, you know, systematically completely killed a complete race or a religious group, etc. So that's what a genocide is. Okay, moving on to the next word. So that was, these words were related to killing. Another word here is embezzlement. Okay, embezzlement is the pronunciation for this word, embezzlement. And the example is, they were arrested for embezzlement of company funds. Embezzlement is a financial crime, a crime that involves money, so embezzlement means the crime of secretly taking money that is in your care or that belongs to an organization or business you work for. So some money is you work with an organization and you have money in your care, but you secretly take it away for maybe your personal use. That's what embezzlement is. And uh, in India, you can think of so many uh, of these, uh, so many people who were charged with embezzlement in the recent past, like uh, maybe uh, Mr. Vijay Malia, it's a financial fraud, like embezzlement, or uh, can you tell me about other, Nirav Modi, can you tell me about other people? These are huge, these are tycoons who were like, uh, you know, charged with embezzlement and they're now, you know, uh, have disappeared. They're not in the country, they have fled. So embezzlement is, taking away money secretly that actually was not yours, that belonged to the organization that you worked for, but you took that money. So that's embezzlement, it's a financial fraud. So the word is embezzlement. Moving on to the next word, it is hit and run. And it's a, it's a very common word, I guess. So for example, the pickup driver pleaded guilty to hit and run and manslaughter. So hit and run, means not stopping to help a person hurt in an accident caused by you. For example, you're driving a car and you know uh, you, you hit a pedestrian, like you're driving rash, driving fast, and you hit a pedestrian, the pedestrian is hurt, but you don't stop. 
whereas you should, but you don't stop. You just keep driving because you don't want to get caught and charged. So that is what hit and run is. is. And in our country, I think Salman Khan hit and run case was the most talked about. Do you remember that? Uh, Salman Khan, the Bollywood actor, he was drive. It is said that he was driving, was driving a car and it ran over. Uh, it ran over people sleeping on the pavement in Mumbai, and uh, he did not stop. And the, I think the people were injured, died. So that's hit and run. But later he was acquitted from the hit and run case. But you now know what is hit and run. Moving on to the next word that is homicide. Okay, homicide means murder. For example, the homicide rate is 66 deaths per 100,000 among the world's highest. So homicide means killing another person on purpose. Like homicide is again, uh, what do you call it? It's not manslaughter. It is a premeditated murder. That's what homicide is. Homicide means a murder, killing of other person. Moving on. So remember this word that we discussed as genocide. So genocide is killing mass, maybe a particular race or a particular religious group on purpose. And homicide is killing another person. Okay. Not the entire race, but one person can be a homicide. The next word here is hooliganism. So hooliganism is the word. And the example is he committed hooliganism even under the watchful eyes of the people. So hooliganism means being violent or aggressive on purpose. So that's what hooliganism is and often used to describe youth hooligan. They so got it like in a public place, if you become violent and aggressive, use aggressive language or violent, uh, you know, violent body language or violence, that's what hooliganism is. And uh, hooliganism is not a new thing in India. We uh, keep witnessing hooliganism on, particularly on the toll plazas. You remember on the, on the toll plazas where the tax, tax is collected, uh, many a time people with political influence uh, commit hooliganism. They don't want to pay the toll taxes and uh, they threaten the, they threaten the person deployed there and many a time they even sometimes uh, you know fire at them and kill as well so that's a perfect example of hooliganism remember such incidents in the country where on toll plazas they don't want to pay and then you know by hooliganism they just try to get away without paying the taxes the toll taxes or it, it might happen in other areas as well they can think about it but hooliganism is not very uncommon in our country. People, usually a person with a bit, bit more influence uh, tries to overpower the other person through hooliganism. Let's move on to the next word, and that is libel, okay? The word that you see on the screen is libel. So libel, first of all, let's take a look at the example. It is the popular actress threatened to sue the magazine for libel. So to sue the magazine for libel. Libel means damaging someone's reputation by writing lies about them. That's what libel is. If you, if somebody, and especially if you are a, if you're a news agency or a magazine, and that's what they do, like many a time they write just anything about celebrities, and then the celebrity has to later uh, come out and tell them that no, I mean, that's not true. What was written about them uh, was utterly baseless, etc. So it's libel and libel is a crime. Like we can't write just anything that we feel about a person. So libel is damaging someone's reputation by writing lies about them. That's what the word libel means. The other word is slander. So slander means damaging someone's reputation by speaking lies about them. So th the difference between libel and slander, libel means damaging someone's reputation by writing lies about them. And slander means damaging someone's reputation by speaking lies about them. And in the news, again, in the news, in the media, slander is very, very common, right? just to gain the TRPs, just to gain viewership, 
many journalists would say anything about a particular celebrity because it gets them more attention. But slander is a crime. So libel, writing lies, and slander is speaking lies. And by doing that, damaging someone's reputation is what it is. So libel and slander are the other words that we just learned. The next word that we're going to learn is treason. So treason, for example, he was executed for treason. So treason means betraying one's country by helping its enemies. And in, in India, we've seen many movies based on this, based on how a person committed a treason. So treason is a crime if you are helping an enemy country and betraying your own country, you will be charged with treason. And it's a serious crime, right? The treason. That means betraying your own country by helping the enemies. And there's so many movies that we see, in, especially in Bo Bollywood, where somebody was charged with treason. You can tell me if you've seen any such movie. Let's move on to the next word that is lynching. And the example here is, police stopped a crowd from lynching the attacker, age 22. So lynching means killing someone without legal process, often by hanging, often by an angry mob. So if an angry mob kills somebody without them being tried through a legal process, that is what lynching is. And in India, in the recent, maybe the last five years, we heard a lot about mob lynching or somebody being lynched. So by lynching, what it means is when an angry group of people kill somebody. You got that maybe by stone pelting them, by hanging them, etc. That is what lynching is. Lynching is a crime again. So that was lynching. Other word here is mugging. So mugging, for example, crime is on the increase, especially mugging and burglary. So the word mugging means attacking someone with a plan to rob them. So for example, you're walking on the street and, uh, and somebody comes from behind, grabs you, maybe points a, points a knife at you or points a gun at you, and asks you to give them everything that you have. That's what mugging is. You got that? That's what mugging is, attacking someone so that you can rob them. It usually happens when maybe you're walking alone and maybe on a dark street or something. That's when you can be a victim of mugging. Did you ever experience mugging? Were you ever mugged? So we use it as a verb as well and we can say, she was mugged. She was mugged last night. So she, she was mugged last night means someone attacked her and then robbed her, right? Robbed everything that she had. So that's what mugging is. Moving on to the next word, it is perjury. Okay, perjury. The example is this witness has committed perjury and no reliance can be placed on her evidence. So perjury means the crime of telling lies in court when you have promised to tell the truth. So in the court, when we go to the court, we are always, uh, you know, we always uh, go under an oath and that oath is not to speak, not to tell a lie. But if you still in a court tell a lie, when you are under an oath not to tell a lie, that's perjury. And perjury is a crime, like in a court, you first take an oath that you will tell, you will not tell a lie, but if you still tell a lie, it's perjury and you can be charged for perjury. Okay, like we said in this example, this witness has committed perjury and no reliance can be placed on her evidence. That means the witness lied. And then if you are a witness and you lie, then you can be tried in the court because that's also a crime. Perjury is a crime as well. So be careful. Next word here is pickpocketing. I guess you're familiar with this word. It's pickpocketing. Like pickpocketing is rampant in the old Delhi area. If you visited old Delhi, you would know. Pickpocketing means stealing wallets, money, etc., from people's pockets in crowded places. That's what pickpocketing is. 
uh, and uh, if you ever traveled in uh, the metro in Delhi or elsewhere in India, uh, they make announcements, like they tell you to be uh, beware of pickpockets. So to beware, beware of pickpockets means you have to be attentive because there can be pickpockets on the train and they can steal your wallet, money, cell phone, etc., and you will not know. So that's what pickpocketing is. Pickpocketing is a crime. The next word is pilfering. I hope you're making notes of these words. If you don't know these words, please make notes. And at the end, I'm going to ask you what you remember. So the next word is pilfering. So the example is he was caught pilfering from the shop. So somebody was caught pilfering from the shop. Yeah, if you don't know this word, pilfering means stealing small quantities of goods over time. So you go to a shop, you steal something today and you're not caught. So now you're more confident. You go the next day, you steal something. Then you go other day, you steal something. That's what pilfering is. If you steal small quantities of goods over time, you will be charged with pilfering. Pilfering is a crime. So you got it, pilfering. Next one is espionage. Espionage, I hope you are paying attention to the pronunciation. It is not espionage. It is espionage. Espionage is the pronunciation. So espionage. Example, two members of the embassy staff had been expelled for espionage. So espionage is spying to obtain political or military information. So again, espionage as a phenomenon is explored in many Bollywood movies. When we have we have Pakistani espionages in our country, or we have Indian espionages in, a, in another country like Pakistan or other countries. So the word is espionage. So you got it, espionage means spying. Again, spying is a crime. Like if, if, we, uh, if somebody is caught spying, somebody from other country is caught spying in our country, they become a criminal, right? And they are tried in the court for so espionage. The next word is poaching. Poaching is a crime again. For example, they were caught poaching wild animals. And if you remember, uh, Salman Khan was convicted in the black buck poaching case. Yeah. So poaching is hunting animals illegally. So if you're hunting an animal that you are not allowed to hunt, like many endangered animals, and uh, we are not allowed to hunt many endangered species, but if people still do it, maybe to earn money or maybe just as a hobby, that's what poaching is. So poaching means hunting illegally. So black buck poaching or there's tiger poaching, lion poaching, etc. If these endangered animals are hunted, which, which are not, you are not allowed to hunt, that's what poaching is. So poaching means hunting illegally. You got that word? That's poaching. The next one is riot. I guess you guys know this word. So riot is when a large number of people behave in a noisy, violent, and uncontrolled way in public, often as a protest. And we have seen many riots, the recent ones being Delhi riots. Just before the lockdown, there were riots in Delhi, right? In Delhi, the state cap, the capital of our country, there were riots. So a riot, for example, police use tear gas to put the riot down. Police has to do this, right? So a riot is when a group of people come together and they act in a violent, noisy, uncontrolled way. That's what riot is. And during riots, people commit all sorts of things like an arson or vandalism, etc. Next word is organized crime. And organized crime, for example, the murders may have been linked to organized crime. So an organized crime is a crime that's done by like an organization, like an organized gang or an organization. That's what organized crime is, which is, you know, there are, there are organizations who just do crime, right? So that's organized crime. For example, human trafficking. You know, human trafficking, that's an organized crime because there are organizations who are involved in it or drug trafficking, for example. 
yeah, most of us are now familiar with drug trafficking and in the recent, recently what happened in, uh, uh, you know, in the recent raids by NCB in India. So we, come, we came to know about the drug, uh, the business of drug. So that's an organized crime. When a crime is done in an organized manner by an organization, like we said, drug trafficking, human trafficking, these are organized crimes. Moving on to the next expression, that is a white collar crime. So a white collar crime is a financially motivated non-violent crime by a worker. Like a white collar worker is somebody who works in an office. So for example, a financial crime. Embezzlement, for example, is a white collar crime or slander is a white collar crime or libel is a white collar crime. For example, he spent 16 years trying cases involving bank fraud, mortgage fraud, investment fraud, and other white collar crimes. So a white collar crime is a financial crime committed by an official. Like we said, uh, embezzlement is a white collar crime or a slander is a white collar crime or a libel is a white collar crime. These do not involve any violence, but that's still a crime. Okay. Let's move on to the next word, and that is capital punishment. So capital punishment is the death penalty. When somebody is sentenced to death, that is capital punishment. And the example is most democracies have abolished capital punishment. But capital punishment is still given in rarest of the rare cases. For example, if you remember, uh, the guy, Ajmal Kassab, who was, uh, who was convicted in 26-11 Mumbai attacks, was sentenced, was given capital punishment. So he was given capital punishment means he was sentenced to death, right? So capital punishment means a death penalty. I hope you got that. Let's move on to the next word. It is house arrest. And house arrest is imprisoning somebody in their own house. So that means they can't move anywhere. They just have to stay inside their house. They can't go anywhere. That is what a house arrest is. For example, opposition leader, leaders were put under house arrest. Like if you remember what happened in India earlier this year, oh, earlier this year or last year, I believe. Uh, last year when Article 370 was revoked in India, many Kashmiri leaders were put under house arrest. The house arrest means when you're imprisoned in your own house rather than in a prison. So that's what house arrest is. The next word that I have is euthanasia. Euthanasia means the act of killing someone who's very ill or very old so that they do not suffer anymore. You know, imagine somebody who is very, very sick and every day in their life is a suffering because the pain, they can't get out of bed, they have to be drugged heavily. So it's better to kill them, right? It's, it's better that they die. So the act of doing that, the act of killing that person who's very, very ill and is suffering a lot is euthanasia, but euthanasia is illegal in most countries, I guess, including India. I'm not sure though, you can let me know because I don't know, I think euthanasia is not legal in our country because it can have any, many other, um, you know, bad uses maybe it can be uh, it can be used in many wrong ways that's why it's not legal in our country yet but in many european countries uh, i believe euthanasia is legal so euthanasia is the act of killing someone who is very very ill so that they don't suffer anymore so that's the word and that's all we've just discussed 30 words to talk about crime I hope you made notes and I hope you learned these words. And before we wrap this session up, let me test your understanding and let me see how many of these words do you remember? I have made a list of these words. I'll speak out these words and I want you to tell me what's the meaning of that particular word. All right, guys. Okay, so 
It was last year. Okay, Anita, thank you for letting me know. So the first word I would like you to tell me about is arson. Please tell me what does the word arson mean? Please comment fast. I'll give you like five seconds to do that. Then we will move on to the next word. The first word that we learned was arson and tell me what it means. In the comments, please let me know what the word arson means. Hi, Abdullah says, hi, teacher. Hi, hi, Abdullah. Thank you for joining. Madhusudan, hi, thank you for joining. All right, and Anita, can you tell me what the word arson is? I would like you guys to tell me what the word arson is. What does the word arson mean? Do let me know in the comments. I have not got any comments yet. Are you guys there? Are you participating in it? Yeah, some of you right. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay. Arson. All right. I got a couple of responses, I guess now. Yes. Arson is not killing somebody, Venkateshwari, but setting fire, setting something on fire on purpose is arson. Yeah, that's correct. Tell me what does the word assassination mean quickly? In the comments, let me know assassination. So guys, let me quickly take you through all the words that we discussed. Let me know what is assassination. The first word that we discussed was arson. Arson means setting something on fire on purpose. Assassination means killing of a famous person and keep letting me know Okay, Anita says I joined from genocide. So I'm, I'm going to revise all these words. Do listen to them. So assassination means killing of a famous person. The next word we learned was assault. Assault means a physical attack, like beat somebody or slap somebody. That is assault. Next word was to break into. Break into means break into. Do let me know what is break into. Can you comment if you already know it? Do comment what is break into. Yeah, you can keep commenting, but I'll discuss. Break into means to enter a building or a place forcibly. That's what break into means. Break into. Next one, burglary. What is burglary? Let me know in the comments. What does it mean by the word burglary? Let me know quickly. And burglary means to break into a place and to steal things, like secretly. That's burglary. And robbery. Robbery is when you forcibly enter and you threaten people and you steal something. Like you not steal, but you threaten and you take something away, that's robbery. Robbery is done when everybody is watching, but they are so scared, so they don't do anything. So burglary is stealing by breaking into it and nobody notices you. Robbery is doing it and everybody notices you. Next one is trespassing. What is trespassing guys? Let me know quickly. Trespassing means entering a property without permission entering someone's property without any permission is trespassing. Next word is vandalism. Tell me in the comments, what is vandalism? Vandalism is the act of destroying public or private property intentionally, vandalism. Next one is a premeditated murder. A premeditated murder, what is it? Let me know. A premeditated murder means a, a thought out murder, a murder that was done purposely that was done on purpose is a premeditated murder. Next one is manslaughter. What is manslaughter? Let me know in the comments again. Manslaughter means killing somebody unintentionally. You did not want to kill, but it happened. So that's manslaughter. Next one is genocide. Genocide means mass killing of a particular race or particular ethnic or a religious group is genocide. Another word is embezzlement. Embezzlement is a financial crime. Embezzlement means you take away the money that is not yours. You take it away from the organization. So that's embezzlement. Next is hit and run. Hit and run means to commit a crime where you are driving an automobile, you run over somebody or you hit somebody and then you don't stop. You just run away. That is hit and run. Next is homicide. Homicide means murder. A planned murder is homicide. Next is hooliganism. Hooliganism is when we, you use violence in a public place to scare people, that's hooliganism. Next is libel. Libel is writing lies about somebody and uh, negatively impacting their image. A slander is speaking lies about somebody so that you can 
impact their image negatively. Next one is treason. Treason is cheating your own country and helping an enemy. Other one is lynching. Lynching means killing of somebody by a mob, by a crowd, um, you know, without any legal process. So killing of somebody by a mob is lynching. Next is mugging. Mugging means attacking somebody so that you can rob them, like mugging on the street. Next is perjury. The next one is pickpocketing. Pickpocketing means stealing things from someone's pocket, usually without them noticing it. Next one is pilfering. Pilfering means stealing something from a shop, etc., over a period of time. Next one is espionage. Espionage is the crime of spying on somebody. Next one is poaching. Poaching means hunting an animal illegally. That's what poaching is. Riot. Riot is when uh, crowds come on roads and act in a violent, angry way. That's riot. Next is organized crime, a crime that's done by organizations in a very organized format, like drug trafficking or human trafficking. White collar crime. White collar crime is a financially motivated crime done by an official, like embezzlement. Next is capital punishment. Capital punishment is death sentence. Next was house arrest. A house arrest is when somebody is arrested in their house, when somebody is imprisoned in their house. And the last one was euthanasia. So euthanasia is when, uh, when we allow to kill somebody because they are very sick. So that's euthanasia. So these were the 30 words that we learned today in this session. Do let me know how you found this session today. Did you get to learn some new words? How many of them do you remember? Do let me know. And you can go through the video again and go through the words again so that you can, if you've not understood some of the words, you can go through it again. And if you need explanation on some words, you can let me know in the comment section and I'll respond to you. And before I go, let me tell you that at English Cafe, we conduct free live sessions at 4 p.m. every day. So do join us for these free live sessions every day. And if fluency in English is something you want, you need, we can help you get in touch with us and inquire about the courses that we offer. We offer our courses online so you can join from anywhere that you are. That's all I'm going to discuss today. Let us meet tomorrow for another lesson. Thank you once again, guys, for joining. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Do let me know what your feedback is. Thank you. And I'll